Hi everyone, in this short video again I will try to answer one of the questions I received that how to mesh a part with hex mesh if Abacus CAE is not allowing you. It can only either allow you to mesh with TET or it gives you this kind of error message as shown on the screen here. So this is what we're going to do today. So let's start with a sphere. I have a sphere and I will try to first show you I will try my best to mesh it right so I will go to the mesh module and I will basically try to mesh it with hex and see what happens to it so I already have matched it with that element so that's what I have done here so uh, if you look at this it's already a tech mesh and if I want to if I change it to let's say for the case that I only want hex mesh rather than tet mesh as you see on the top I have selected tet and I will change it to hex and I will leave everything as default press ok so it will delete the previous mesh and when I press the button I get this error which I showed you in the previous slide so the regions cannot be matched automatically again so either you need to do a, use some kind of bottom-up approach or you have to partition your geometry so partitioning is one of the basic option you can use and most of the time it works but if it doesn't work then you can go with the bottom-up approach as well so in this in today's video I will show you how you can partition a geometry and get it get it to be matched as hex elements using hex elements so what I will do I will go back to my part module again and I will start doing partitioning so you can do partitioning in 3d objects you remember 2d objects I already have a video on that you use that option and in 3d case you will use this option where it says partition cell because it it treats each object as a cell in the 3d geometry so I can do it by cutting plane so I have to create some kind of cutting planes in my geometry and I can cut it along the plane I can create a datum plane and again from the geometry in the geometry or across the geometry and I can do that I can extend it to the faces again the 2d video which is shown on the above has many options discussed there as well so you can have a look at that today I'm going to use this datum plane option and I will try to create datum planes and then I will cut across those datum planes and I will show you this works and it basically creates that so I will go with the create datum plane option which is basically so in this case as you see if I click on that it asks for a datum plane but I don't have it so I will first create that so you have to click, click on this button here and you have to create a datum plane using this button so I will create so I have selected this option and now firstly I will create a datum plane along xy plane so you see my xy plane is basically this is x and this is y so I will create a datum plane along this plane and since my geometry was made with the center at the zero so when I click on this it will ask me how far you want it from the zero zero coordinates so in this case I will keep it to be zero because my object is already in the center but if you if your object is offset from the center then you need to find the coordinate or distance where you want to have your datum plane by giving the offset distance from the xy plane which is a zero zero plane so you see my center was at the zero so it has created a section uh, datum plane along the at the middle of the in the middle of the sphere and along the xy plane now i will do the same use the same analogy and i will create a datum plane along the yz plane and also along the zx plane or xz plane in reality you can cut that part along this axis and try to mesh it again if it works it's fine if it's not then you can further divide it into smaller portions I'm just showing you that I will divide it into at least eight pieces and then I will mash it and you will see if it works or not so now I'm going to create a yz plane along the yz plane as shown here so when I click on this it will ask me again for the offset again my origin is at the middle of the, in the middle of in the center of the sphere so I'm gonna use zero offset and you see again it's in the middle and normal to the xy datum plane lastly I will create an exit plane which will be a horizontal plane as per this so in this case as you see it will be around these two axes in this plane so when I press this again it asks me for the offset 
and this offset will be the distance from the origin so again i am keeping it to be the same so that it will be in the at the middle of the thing and you can see now i have all 3d templates and now i will start cutting them along the planes or through the planes so let's do that so now i go to the partitioning option and i will select partitioning through the data plane so which is the second option if you look at that so i'll go to the next one yeah And now we'll select it is asking me to select a datum plane so i will select this datum plane and now it is asking me to create partition and you see you have a partition so now you have two halves top and bottom half of the sphere you can now go back to the mesh and you can try to mesh it with hex if it doesn't work you can come back and further partition it but in this case i'm gonna keep on partitioning up to eight pieces and then i will go to the mesh module So now I'm going to select another the, the this this plane which is in Y Z plane I believe. So when I click on this, it says select the partitions cells to partition because now we have two cells. So it asks us to select which one you want. Obviously, in this case, we want to partition throughout the sphere. So we will select the whole or both the cell, both cells or both half semi spheres so i have done that and now when i select the datum plane which is this one in this case then it will ask me for create partition and when i click on this i will have a partition so now i have four cells created through partition of one sphere next i will do the same again now i have four cells so i have to select all of them because again I have to partition all of those cells again in, at this point you can again go back to mesh and try it but let me first partition all of them and then I will go and show you if it works or not and then I will select the datum plane as I did before and then create partition and now you can see that I have eight cells four on the top four at the bottom so everything is done we have partitioned as abacus was asking us to do as in one of the options and now i will go back to mesh module and i will see if i can mesh it with hex more hex or not so i'm going to change it now to hex option it's already there so you remember from last time i already changed it I keep it structured again and I will say mesh this region only first it's asking me to select the region to be matched I select this region I press done and abracadabra you see I was able to mesh using hex mesh now I can select all of the section all of the cells all the rest of the seven cells and I can basically mesh the whole sphere as I like. So I will select the whole of it and I will press the mesh button now and see I have everything meshed. So in this video I showed you how to partition a 3D object and how to create mesh which could be a hex mesh which is more preferable as compared to tet meshes and i hope this works so thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video some other time